Uh, government of Canada officials, uh, Justin Trudeau's government, uh, Global Affairs, have confirmed that the purchase of West 57 was predicated on the fact that the Park Avenue property required, in essence, over $2 million in renovations that it was originally purchased in 1961, it had uh, renovations completed in 1982, and uh, it was good enough for 19 previous Consul Generals, except for Tom Clark, who uh, wanted a different location, and uh, was granted that. Now, I think it's disingenuous, and I think it's actually a lie to Canadians when Justin Trudeau and his government are claiming that this property was essentially a fixer-upper. I think that could be the furthest from the truth, and I'm going to quote from your listing page for Park Avenue. A perfect example of the grand golden age apartments of the 1920s. This masterpiece is full of volume, scale, and ideal circulation. A great room with 11-foot ceilings and large windows that frame exposures to the north and east invite you into the heart of the home, while the adjacent dining room could comfortably host down a dinner of 18. Designed for hospitality, a commercial kitchen and a butler's pantry are further complemented by direct access to a separate staff office and storage room, as well as in-unit laundry, a den library just off the entrance gallery, as well as a powder room complete the northern wing. Along the southern corridor, four bedrooms, all with ensuite bathrooms and walk-in closets, and two with corner exposures, offer privacy and comfort. With its high ceilings, large windows, herringbone walnut floors, and ample storage through Throughout, this residence offers the perfect framework for generation living and is truly a space to behold. That, sir, is your listing. That is hardly indicative of a New York City condo adjacent to Billionaire's Row that demands $2 million worth of renovations. Would you agree with that? For the question, um it is a wonderful residence, and it will serve its owners very well uh, that has the needs that that residence will offer up. If those needs are no longer met, those residents will probably want to find a In your professional opinion, this is not a fixer-upper, is it? Move in, in ready. Opinion, that is not a fixer-upper. Sir, this is move-in ready luxury, isn't it? in a heritage uh, building. It is move-in ready. Uh, it's a wonderful residence. It's in a heritage building, that is correct. Correct. Now, did the government offer you any specifics on how they were going to spend $2 million worth of taxpayer dollars for renovations to Park Avenue? Did they offer any details? We have not received any of that information. Of course not. Did they even mention it to you? that one of the rationales for looking for a new location to adjacent to Central Park in Billionaire's Row was because of the $2 million expected to renovate this luxurious condo? It was shared as part of the criteria, yes. They, they, they shared that with you? They shared that due renovation costs, they, uh, it made more sense financially to pursue right. another residence. Okay. They also told us at committee that it wasn't accessible. And when I drilled down on the government as to what that meant, they had to widen the entranceway to a bathroom. That could have easily been done on Park Avenue as well, couldn't it? It is sometimes difficult to do work in co-op buildings, especially uh, part of the reason well, is why it, the sir? Cost is so high. It's not impossible, it is it? Could be done. It's not impossible, Most is it? Answer, please. It is not impossible. Thank you.